So you want to build wealth and maybe become even a millionaire? Well, today we're going to be talking about ETFs and more specifically ETFs that I invest in and why they're so safe and why they build wealth so well. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, before we get into the list of the top three ETFs that I invest in, you might be asking, what is an ETF? Well, an ETF is an exchange traded fund and it's pretty much a fund that invests in multiple companies or multiple sectors of the stock market and you're able to put in your money in that fund and is, be, is able to be directed into different areas and you just re receive the rewards and the gains from that fund. So now that you know what an ETF is, let's go ahead and get into the list. All right, so first up on the list is the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF or known as VOO. Now, what is this stock? Well, obviously, as it is in the name, it's a, it's a Vanguard stock. Vanguard is a big company that allows you to invest in Roth IRAs and 401ks and maybe even your own job has it as your 401k. Uh, Vanguard is a well-known company and is well-trusted. They've been around for a while and I myself have invested almost 25% of my investment profile into VOO. Now, when it comes to yearly returns of five years, every year this stock returns around 9.49%. Now, what does that mean to you? Well, if you were to invest $1,000 of investments for 45 years, assuming you start at 20 and you retire at 65, from these $1,000 that you originally invested with a 9.49% return for a year, you would receive $59,135.80 back. That's a pretty good return for $1,000 initial investment, assuming that it returns 9.49% every year. Now, say you take those $1,000, and you invest that, but then you reinvest every year another $1,000 for the same 45 years until you're 65, starting at 20. With that same 9.39%, you will then be receiving $671,736.48. That is a crazy amount for $1,000 a year extra on every year for that same return. That, that, that is almost at a million dollars, almost putting you in that millionaire mark, but wait, there is more. Before we get into the dividends, which will bring you extra income, let's get into the holdings of this stock. This, this ETF holds 509 holdings, with three of the top ones being ExxonMobil with 1.41%, Amazon with 2.32%, and Google with 1.63%. So pretty big names and companies that aren't going anywhere. Now the dividends. So for the VOO ETF, the dividend yield is quarterly, meaning you receive the dividend every three months split into four times for that year. So if you have a 0.69% dividend, such as VOO has, which is not that high, but it's still pretty good for the amount of growth you're getting from this stock, you will receive the 0.69% split into four quarters and paid out every three months. Now say if you were to invest that thousand dollars that you were investing before, you would receive $6.97 with drip. And you might be asking what drip is, Drip is where your dividends reinvested back into the stock to buy more shares in the stock. So after all that, you'll be receiving $6.97, with at the end having an expense ratio of 0.03%. Amazing stock to have with little to no expenses and a great return. So the second ETF I invest in is SCHH, or Schwab US REIT ETF. Now, what is this ETF and what is a REIT? Well, REIT ETF is a company that invests in real estate. So pretty much what this means is the investments you give to them are invested in real estate and the rent they make from the real estate is given back to you in forms of dividends. Now, what does this mean? You are a real estate investor. Well, not really, you don't have your own property, but I guess you could call yourself a real estate investor if you give them the money for the property. So SEHH is not known for its yearly returns. Uh, the yearly returns for SEHH for five years is 3.96% per year. Why is it not that high? Well, SCHH and like most REITs, focuses on dividend income. And that's how they keep their investors. You give them their money and they pay you, pay you high dividends with their rent. So if you were to invest $1,000 in investment for 45 years, assuming you start at 20 and you take it out at 65, you would receive 5,740 and 93 cents from your 3.96% return, assuming it stays at that return, doesn't grow and doesn't fall, which is not a lot. But if you take that $1,000 and you add $1,000 every year onto it, for that same 45 years, assuming you take it out at 65, your return goes up to 125,461 and 36 cents. 
It's not as high as VOO, but it's still pretty good. And we're not even getting to the dividend side of this. Now, when it comes to the holdings, of course, they only invest in real estate, so there's not much to go over, but let's go straight into dividends. So the dividends for uh, our SCHH are paid out quarterly. And what is the dividend yield, you might be asking, since the growth is so low? Well, the dividend yield varies, but at the moment, it is at 3.2% which is pretty high. It is one of the highest on this list. And if you were to invest those $1,000 into the dividend with drip for a year, you would receive $33.43, which is a good amount of money. And the more you invest, the more drip you have, and the more years go by, that amount will increase to where this could be become your income. Yes, I said that right, and you heard that right. It could become your income. And the dividend only grows with the more properties they have and the more money you invest. So once again, this is a great investment to have if you're trying to get an income source. If you're trying to retire and have an income source that's there forever, this is a great ETF to invest in. And especially with the fact that expense ratios is only 0.07%. Again, absolutely nothing and such a great investment if you're looking for an income source and I guess a little bit of growth. Now let's move on to the last ETF I invest in and has to be one of my favorite ETFs, DGRW. Now my favorite ETF and my favorite on the whole list and then uh, the ETF I'll be investing forever is DGRW or known as Wisdom Tree US Quality Dividend Growth ETF. Now why do I love this ETF so much? Well. First of all, it has amazing returns in the dividend and the growth, and it's just it's just a great ETF to invest in. I personally have almost 30% of my investments invested in it, and it's just great. The returns on it are amazing. The dividends I receive are great. It's a monthly dividend return, so you get monthly drip, just a great thing. So let's just get into it. So the yearly return of five years on DGRW is 10.22% every year yes you heard that right 10.22 percent the highest return out of all the etfs on this list 10.22 percent now let's put it into the numbers let's put into the calculators a thousand dollars invested into this etf for 45 years assuming you start at 20 and you take it out at 65 when you retire your end balance with the 10.22 percent assuming it stays at 10.22 10.22% per year will be $79,747.72. A good chunk of money. Now let's make it even better. Say you take those $1,000 and you invest another thousand every year for 45 years, assuming you start at 20 and you take it out at 65, that goes up to $850,273.41. Yes, you heard that right, $850,000 in your bank account for investing $1,000 initially, $1,000 every year for 45 years. You have yourself close to a million dollars. And that is going up with inflation, so you have no worries, no stress, and it's a safe and good ETF to hold. Now that I'm done being excited over the growth, just based off the stock price, let's talk about the holdings before we get to the dividends. The holdings are, this company holds 300 holdings and some of the main names are Apple, which is 5.06% of the holdings, Microsoft, which is 7.19% of the holdings, and our favorite Coca-Cola, which is 2.42% of the holdings. So let's get into the second reason why I love this ETF so much, and that is because of the dividends. Not only is the growth so high, but so it is the dividends. The dividend yield on this ETF are monthly. You get monthly dividends. And of course, it is split between 12 months, so 12 points is what the dividend split into. So the dividend yield for this ETF is 2.09%. Yes, you heard that right. It is 1% off the REIT and is 2% higher than the, the VOO. So you're right in between, you're right in the gold spot and is at 2.09% split into 12 months. Now, if you were to invest a thousand a year, if you were, sorry, if you were to invest a thousand into the stock with drip, you would receive $21.55. It is not as high as the REIT, but it is higher than VOO with higher returns. And this is why I invested in the stock. I invest in DGRW because it has higher returns than VOO, but it also doesn't have such low dividends as VOO. It matches up with ETFs such as SCHH, which is a REIT, and it still pays out 2.09%, which is 
amazing. But, but, let's get into the caveat. The caveat of this ETF is the expense ratio. The expense ratio on DGRW is 0.28%. Yes, such a high number, such a high expense ratio, but the dividend makes up for it. If you're getting a 2.09% dividend on this ETF, the 0.28% expense ratio is paid off. So it doesn't really matter to you unless you're counting those small pennies, and I guess, but 0.28% does not put me away from this ETF. This ETF is such a great thing to invest to, and I still recommend highly to invest to it. And this is why I have such a high holding in this investment, and why I hold almost 40% of my investment portfolio into this stock. All right, so those are the top three ETFs that I hold, the top three ETFs that I will continue buying, continue investing in, and continue to grow. And this is why I think you should invest in them and why you should consider joining onto the wave of these three ETFs and why they can help you grow your wealth and hopefully become a millionaire, especially with DGRW. Man, I love DGRW. And I just love all these ETFs. And honestly, if you wanna invest in something that's safe, something that has decent to high uh, growth, ETFs is honestly the way. If you don't wanna invest in one company or just stuff you don't understand or don't have the knowledge for, just put your money into an ETF. It doesn't have to be something like DGRW with probably a decent risk compared to something like VOO. Just invest your money into something like VOO, keep it there, let it grow, and just don't focus on it, right? So that is my top three ETFs. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Like, you guys have been blowing up the shorts, blowing up the TikTok. All my social media will be now in the description. So if you guys wanna check out my TikTok, my Instagram, you guys could go ahead and do that. But don't forget, hit that notification button to know when I'll be releasing my videos. Thank you again, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.